What's going on everyone? This is Marco once again here with Selena's Travels and this time around my family and I went to Cancun, Mexico and got to stay at a brand new resort and that's correct. We stayed at Planet Hollywood uh, in Cancun which has just recently opened up. This time around we were approximately 15 people in our vacation so we were a big group this time. So we took a shuttle from the airport to the resort which is approximately 50 minutes. Um, if you have been to Mexico, you will realize that you will get there a lot faster due to the, the way they drive. Uh, once we arrived, uh, the shuttle driver and numerous resort staff helped us out with our luggage. Um, they tagged it with our name and uh, our room number. They later then escorted, escorted us in the lobby. And if you are ashamed or get embarrassed really easily, you're in for a surprise because you will always get a cheerful clap and hoorays as you walk in. Let's take a listen. So during this time, you will walk in. On the left side, you'll have your normal check-in. And on the right side, you'll have your star class access. I will definitely make a different video on that because that's uh, a little more details on that information. You will then come out of the lobby after getting checked in. This is a map that was right outside. It is a huge resort. Don't let the map fool you. We were, like I said, we were there for a week and we got pretty much almost everything done, but not all of it. We then went to our room and the best thing about this is that you get a wristband uh, key access so you don't have a key card and it's kind of like this. Um, everyone will have one. Um, then you enter your room and I believe pretty much almost all of them are similar to, you know, Planet Hollywood where it's a director kind of style. Um, we got the two queen sides bed because it's uh, my girlfriend and my two uh, daughters. Uh, we do have a nice little couch right there. It does turn into a bed. So if you have any other guests, we were lucky that we got uh, to stay right here because we're on the second floor and we had clear access to our patio and the patio could oversee the golf course and the kids uh, swimming pool area. All right, and like I said, for the star access, you do get one liquor bottle. You're up to a four up there, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, you do get one liquor bottle complimentary as a star access. Like I said, there are numerous perks to having the star access. We had the star access, and it's a great, great thing that we did. Um, inside, you'll have uh, two robes. You'll have an umbrella. Um, you'll have bags for either if you want to order or you want to do your laundry for your clothes. Uh, for buying or doing your laundry there is a fee uh, for that so just be mindful about that underneath you will have a mini fridge which is very uh, um, very helpful because you have water sodas and of course beer they also load it up with snacks such as M&Ms and chips um, everything uh, for the, like the resorts um, any type of scheduling or events it will be on your TV as well which is very convenient um, another thing is almost all the doors are like a barn, which is really nice. Uh, there's a lot more room, of course. Uh, when you go into the bathroom, you got the his and hers uh, sink, which is very convenient. They also had a scale, which I was really surprised. I don't know why you have a scale, but that was the first time I've ever seen a scale at any type of hotel or resort that I've ever been to, which I found it kind of funny. Um, then we also had the nice uh, walk-in uh, shower which was very nice. It had a nice bench and everything. Um, the whole bathrooms, um, the room alone had a lot of compartments for you to be able to store your property. But yeah, other than that, let's start off. Here's, <clears throat> here's one of the main attractions, of course, is the Lazy River. Um, it is a pretty good sized Lazy River. Uh, we enjoyed it. We only went on it about twice. Uh, a lot of times, like I said, we did have star access. So we mainly stayed at the star access uh, pool area, um, which I'll explain more in details on that later. But other than that, the Lazy River was nice. It did have a lot of waterfalls, a lot of attractions, uh, especially for you know your younger children if you have them. Um, they do enjoy getting wet from the waterfalls. 
um, as well as the the flow. Um, I was really surprised on the pressure of the flow. Um, it, it really, you know, if you kind of know how to float in the sand, it'll just pretty much take you. You really don't have to put much effort into your walking or swimming if you if you desire. But yeah, like I mentioned, here's another uh, a little attraction just for the kids. Obviously, like my young young daughter, you know, she's uh, three now, and she enjoys it. Um, I have my 12 year old; she also enjoyed it because obviously, you know, it's a different attraction. They like getting wet from the waterfall. And then, uh, as you continue through the Lazy River, there is one mini bar. They call it the Blue Lagoon. Um, kids are welcome there. Like I said, just because it's a it's considered a bar. Doesn't mean it's just adults only. They do have their like virgin margaritas and um, other sodas and drinks. So yeah, you just walk in and of course this is all inclusive so don't worry about it. You don't have to pay. Obviously it is generous just to uh, tip the bartender. Um, not sure but I'm not going to lie on this. This event that we went... Uh, there was only one bartender, and the funny thing is he kept saying that he was pretty much running out a lot, of, a lot of things, so I'm not sure how that worked out. Um, for the next one, you know, we spend, uh, I think, one or two days here, um, and it's pretty much the pool for the small kids or small children. Uh, the 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 depth of the pool is approximately about two feet, I would say, if not less. Um, they call this one the Jurassic, Jurassic Splash Park. It does have a lot of uh, water slides. It's a play area, um, waterfalls for, you know, for children to get wet. Um, it's more like a little water park in a sense. And uh, it does have a boat um, that they can go up there and play. So yeah, this area is a it's a pretty big uh, big size pool area for a lot of uh, children to be able to swim and uh, you know be able to spend time on the water, and uh, they do have a mini bar here as well. Uh, pretty much every pool has one, and like I said, you know it's not just bars. I mean, not just alcohol that they serve. Obviously, they do serve a lot of other uh, things for children. Um, so, uh, in general, the, the resort has a total of four pools, including this one. This one has, uh, the children's pool. They do have another one that's, uh, the all resort pool where pretty much anyone, whether you're star class access or just, you know, a uh, regular, uh, guest there, um, they, that's the pool for them. The star, uh, the star class access has two pools. So there's two different pools there and then I'll go more into depth in that uh, right after this um, as you can see this is the walkway that separates the other pool with uh, from the the star axis as you can see this one you'll be able to have a star class axis uh, you have to have the wristband um, if not you know the staff can can and most likely will you know kick you out of there and send you back to the other pool um, not much of a difference they're pretty much similar in the sense um, for the star class axis like I said the reason it has two pools is this side is mainly for adults only there's no children allowed on this side um, so yeah that's, that's pretty convenient you know for people that don't have uh, any children or anything like that um, but just you know it does it is, it is split up by this little uh, star class restaurant if you would like to say um, but, you know, you walk over to the other side and it's literally not that far away from the family resort, um, which is pretty convenient, uh, for the most part. Uh, but yeah, uh, for any, uh, for all the pools in general, um, they do have a lot of fun activities for families and children, um, such as, you know, sports like this, uh, we did play, uh, water polo, uh, volleyball um, they also have fun activities um, 
such as you know uh crazy games uh they got other things such as this for a lot of family things is uh they call this one the foam party uh they do play a lot of music and they fill it, fill up the pool with a lot of foam and believe me uh my 3 year old and my 12 year old enjoyed that time um it was funny seeing a lot of adults also enjoying their time there it's a very fun experience the staff is very energetic there so they will get into it you'll see them dancing as you can probably see right there on the left they're the ones uh she's wearing purple with uh, yellow shorts and then obviously the other one is also a staff member that's uh loading up the foam machine um like i said you also have uh some games that they have a lot, a lot of times they are for you know kids um but on the adult side for the star class access it's uh obviously just for adults um but yeah obviously do the do the event um if you like especially have your kids do it if you know they're you know especially if they're around teenage years um i even had my two-year-old do it and she enjoyed it uh this one is called the crazy games um during these games they a majority of the time they do give you a prize so you just never know what kind of prize you will get um and most of the time the prizes just because it's an all-inclusive resort does not mean that you do not have to pay for certain certain things or amenities um for this one uh this was the fast and furious wristband and we were fortunate enough that my oldest daughter won so right here it was a they called it the crazy game um they always have uh some type of unique game if you would like to say um this one it was just throwing a football through a um inner tube um obviously here's my three year old and she enjoyed it you know they they do help them out you know they bring it in because obviously they know my three year old's not gonna be able to throw it as far as certain ten to fifteen year old kids um I even saw some adults doing it, you know, it's just a fun time, you know, something different. So yeah, that was my three year old that did it. Obviously she didn't make any, but you know, it's okay. You know, she's not the only one. Um, some people didn't make any, some people only made one. Um, here's my third, uh, third, 12 year old and she made all three. I was, uh, I'm not going to lie. I was surprised I guess now she's starting to take after her dad. <laughs> so yeah, she made all three. She won, um, after the, the tournament or the little competition was over, they called her back up and they gave her a wristband. As you can see, that's what they're doing right now. Don't worry about the staff. Um, staff, uh, speaks Spanish and English. Um, when I spoke to many of the staff members there, um, they're surprised that, you know, obviously I am a bilingual speaker in Spanish and they don't get that. They don't get that many Spanish speakers, but they do speak English. They're required to speak English to get a job there. So once uh, my daughter got the award, um, we went we got it. Uh, we got it activated where they gave us a discount where we. Her wristband for the Fast and Furious, which is something that was uh, obviously not included in any type, whether you're star class access or just a regular check-in um it is extra fees for it um however hers was for free um they did give us a discount for for two races with up to four people to be able to participate um so it was nice so when we got there because it was a fun experience uh i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to do it but we did it due to my daughter winning that activity and that's what i'm saying you know just go out there and have some fun and uh, they give you these two options to choose from. You'll have the black Dodge Charger and a yellow convertible Mustang. Um, and they'll let you race um, head, uh, head to head. Um, and it doesn't matter if they're a kid. Uh, I had my 12-year-old that was driving. And believe me, I was scared. Uh, but it, it was fun. It was a very fun experience. But here we go. Like, Let's see the race going on right now. Break, 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 break. 
So yeah, that's a fun experience. And here's the next one. Um, for Star Class Axis, you get this complimentary. It's a flow rider. Best thing I've ever done. First time I've ever done it. Great people there that the staff knows they know what they're talking about. They know how to do it and they teach you. By the second day I was doing this. Um this was only my second time uh on a boogie board or surf surfboard on the flow rider. And I'll show you the video right here. Um, so yeah, after the flow rider, um, they do have uh, another thing for children. Uh, it's a trampoline and arcade. It's a two-story building. Trampolines all at the bottom. A uh, little mini arcade on top. Uh, this is obviously an extra fee, whether you have star class access or not. It is uh, still a fun activity for your children if you like for them to, you know, get that energy out of them and. Um, another thing is they do have a workout building. Um, I I pretty much went there every morning before I got my day ready. I usually w woke up around 5, 6 in the morning and went there. Um, to explain more, you know, you just walk in. Whether, you know, you, just, you don't need a reservation or anything like that. You just walk in. Um, get You just sign in uh, with your name and your uh, room number, of course. Uh, and it is a two-story uh, workout uh, gym, and it's uh, very convenient to have. Uh, they do have numerous events, um, whether if you do look it up, look it up on your TV in your room, or if you look it up uh, at the gym while you're there. They do have a TV at the gym where they'll show you different types of events, and most of the time, all the events are different. And uh, so, yeah, we'll start off with the first floor. As you can see, the first floor is mainly all about weights. Um, they have dumbbells, uh, weight benches, uh, weight machines. Um, so yeah, this is all pretty much for weights and getting, you know, getting your strength in. So then we walked up this upstairs. Uh, stairs is mainly more cardio things. Uh, you can see they have uh, treadmills, bicycle, ellipticals. Um, they do have a lot of TVs. So, uh, you know, you can always watch uh, what they have there. It's uh, very convenient. Um, right here in the room. You just open it up. They do have a lot of events here, such as classes. Um, like I said, those are uh, those change daily. So make sure you're looking up your your events uh, for that day and at what time they start. Um, but they do have bicycles in there. It's mainly turf. Um, they do have their glass uh, windows or their mirrors, and then they do have weight bags. Um, then we exit out here, and then we go outside. 
And then outside is, you know, this is something I wasn't even aware they had until I was just looking around. The upstairs, they have an out, outdoor basketball court with three tennis courts. And, uh, of course, the basketball court, they kind of convert it into soccer as well because um, they have goals on each side. Uh, but all the equipment is, you know, free. You're able to rent it out. Uh, you're able to get the tennis, uh, tennis rackets, tennis balls, uh, basketballs, and soccer balls. Um, they also have volleyball. So if you like to do volleyball, they have volleyball. Uh, they even have sand volleyball or beach volleyball. So, yeah, any type of uh, convenience like that, you know, feel free to do it. Uh, to, you know, to make your night even slower or anything like that. Feel free to, you know, enjoy your time at the movie theater, you know. At the movie theater, they have a, uh, a great spacious room. The, you know, the rooms are spacious. Every day they play something different. Uh, so, you know, the, once again, make sure you're looking at what they have. Um, so that's going to be something different. They also have a uh, miniature golf. Um, we only did this once. They have a total of nine courses. So the courses are fun. The golf clubs and golf balls are free. So have fun, you know. It was just my girlfriend and I for the night, and we enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, like I mentioned, this is the first part of this two-part video. Um, like I mentioned, this is a lot to talk about, um, a lot of things to do. Um like I said, we were there for a week and it, it was a blast, but this is uh, the first part of a two part video. Um, so there's a lot to go over and I just want to make sure I run, run pretty much almost everything that we did. So that way, you know, if you're looking to go into Cancun and want to stay at Planet Hollywood, you know, I want to give you the best advice and, you know, the best things to do there. Um, but other than that, you know, feel free to comment below and let me know if you've been there or you plan on going there and if you've been there you know what was your favorite event there um or if you had star class or if you didn't um like i said i will make a different video on that because uh there's a lot more to talk about there is different uh perks to having star class however you know it is slightly pricier um but if you have any questions i know uh I, you know I, this is pretty uh quick video for a lot of things that we did for a week um, but, you know, if you have any questions or want me to elaborate more on one or any of your favorite parts in this video, uh, let me know. And I will, you know, gladly answer your questions or, you know, I'll gladly make a video of any of the events that you were, you know, interested in. Because I, I pretty much videotaped a lot. I had to go get another SIM card for uh, my camera because I was running out. So that was the funny part. But until then, I, I look forward to hearing from you guys and uh, check out that, uh, the second part that will be coming out soon. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Get in there. You're the baby. I see. Look at it. Woo. Look at it. Stay in line.